everyone, welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we are finally playing Dragon Age The Veil Guard. You've seen all the reviews, I have too, I've been ignoring them, I've been ignoring everything because I wanted to go in with Dragon a into Dragon Age Veil Guard with a very fresh thought process. So this is my honest first reaction review. I did see the little intro segment that had officially been posted, but that's about it. There's a ton of different ways this could go. I only saw a snidbit of it just to see Solace. I also put on my little elf ears that I will be taking off to put my headphones on, but I just, I thought they were, they fit. So let's just get in, let's just do it. 100%. Yes, finally. Kept me waiting long enough. They did not. That's a PlayStation thing. That's PlayStation. They have like a thing with PlayStation. Like I'm not making that up, right? Bioware presents. Ah, yes! Yay! Finally. Okay. Um. Ooh. First and in first initial reaction to Dragon Age. Oh. New game. Finally. Gosh. I knew him as Solus. Oh. Smart, thoughtful. He loved to hear himself talk. He's doing the Dragon Age but 2 thing! But long ago, he had a different yeah. name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending uh -huh. on which story you believe. Both. In his desperate mm. fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them. Creating yeah. a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I, I don't even know how to react. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic. Their freedom. Yeah. Even their immortality. That's why my headcanon is just doing it for Lavellan. That's my headcanon. Solus cannon. wants to tear down that veil. And undo yeah, the and damage he caused. Not gonna work. Even but it's gonna if cause that more means our world has to burn. See, it, he's ruthless, and Somebody's I don't gotta know. Somebody's got to stop him. I think he's and planning on saving Lavellan. Where you come in? That's my head cannon, and yeah, that's where I come in. Duh. Who am I? First, first of all, who am I? We're going as a mage elf. I'm always an elf. Descendants of an ancient fallen empire, pushed to the margins in the past. Some elves are building a brighter future by exploring their civilization's lost wonders. Is there any cute presets? By chance? That one's not bad. Oh wait, is there different body shapes? Oh, I've been waiting for that. Okay, let's just go with this first one. How do I move on? Is it V? Okay, yes. Oh my gosh, that scared me for a second. Wait, do I not get to, oh, customize. I'm so dumb. Starting preset, head shape. <gasps> Shut up. Set features to default. Um, um, I actually like her face. I'm not even gonna lie. Her face itself is actually kind of cute. But, uh, ooh, that's, okay. I kind of think. Okay, reset. Uh, set to default. This is not default. Oh, frack. Set to default. Undo. There we go. I don't know. Is there, like, a way to make her face, like, cheekier? Yeah. I'm gonna say right about there. And that just undid everything. Can we make it way less muscly? Body proportions. Height. I think that's fine. I think chest size. Really? That's the best shit. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I, I can do nothing else. I feel like this character creator is seriously messed up. Um, I don't want any tattoos. Let's, yep, let's make that clear. Or scars, or paint. We're good. What is lighting? Oh! <gasps> She's actually really pretty there. Wait a minute. That's scary. This isn't bad. I like her the best here. What the heck? She's gorgeous. 
class, we're going mage. Faction! Go, go, go! Yes! Grey Warden! Rook is a Grey Warden! <gasps> An ancient military order sworn to battle Darkspawn and other monsters. The Wardens undergo secret, unbreakable rites that grant them supernatural powers against the dark, bonded in blood. Ooh, great. gain reputation with the Grey Wardens more quickly. The Light Killer da increased damage versus Dark Spawn could be handy. Vigilant training, base defense, and health are slightly increased. Veil? You're kidding. Wait, so that's why the armor changes? Should I just go with whichever one has the best armor? <gasps> that one has the best armor. <laughs> are we gonna be a crow? <laughs> Rook is a veil jumper. The staring group explores ancient elven ruins in the Arlathan forest. Although founded by elves, they welcome anyone brave enough to face Arlathan's reality warping magic. This could be handy for the playthrough, though. Gain reputation with the veil jumpers more quickly. Deal increased damage versus fade touch. That could be handy. Keen eye. Deal slightly increased critical and weak point damage. Oh, that, that's so handy. Okay. Um, this one. Shadow dragons? How freaking cool. Rook is a shadow dragon. This underground resistance opposes corrupt rulers and slavery into Venter. Go off. Okay. Coming with from all walks of life, they are determined to bring justice to the people. Light in the dark. Gain reputation with shadow dragons more quickly. Never to rise. Deal increased damage versus Venatori. Eh. Resourceful. Your class specific resource regenerates slightly faster. Ooh. What I mean this is just sad. Never put me in this. Why? This one is just sad looking. The Morn Watch. Rook is a Morn Watcher. This elite necromantic order explores the mysteries of life and death and tends to the undead in Neveria's sprawling grid, Necropolis. But look at this. The Antivan Crows are so freaking cool. What? Rook is an Antivan Crow. Swift knives in the dark and crows are ruthless assassins, both respected and feared as Antiva's shadowy protectors. So in my own spare time, if there is replayability to this game, I might do that. But I'm thinking either a Veil Jumper or a Grey Warden. Grey Warden just as a callback. Veil Jumper just simply because it's so handy. Actually, I actually think I want to be a Veil Jumper because this is really handy. I don't like the armor. Oh, but that's freaking cool. Oh, wait, let me look at all of their resting ones. Oh, they're just sad. The Antivan Crows are freaking cool. No matter what I do, the Antivan Crows are freaking cool. That one's alright. That one's, I guess, not bad. That one's just a no for me. That one's not bad either. That one's not bad either. I think I'm gonna go Veil Jumper. Ooh, backstory, Hunter of Secrets. When lives are at stake, Rook defied orders to rescue people from the mystic perils of Orlanthian. On an expedition to ruins of Orlanthian Forest, the Veil Jumpers found ruins that contained important lost lore and deadly danger. Barely surviving the ruins' ancient magical defenses, Rook's small team recovered an invaluable map leading to a hidden area of the forest. Although the team escaped, other Veil Jumpers found themselves trapped. Rook chose to return to the ruins, saving her teammates' lives, but losing the map. She was lauded for her bravery, but the map's loss caused some resentment among Veil Jumper leaders. Ooh, actually. Since they give us, like, a thing, what does it say for the Antivan Crows? Rook risked everything to liberate the enslaved people of Tevinter, even knowing it would anger the ruling elite. The founding... The, fa the fawnling Rook was adopted into a military family and joined the Shadow Dragons to fight from the shadows for change in Mintharas. While guarding a visiting dignitary who was investigating a slave ring in the nearby city of Nissus, Rook concluded that the mission alone would fail without throwing caution to the wind. Alone, she sneaked the dignitary geek into Venatori-controlled zones and brought him back, along with the rescued slaves. These actions brought Rook to the Venatori's attention, and the Shadow Dragons decided to keep Rook out of sight. That's like the only good one! What in the world? Okay, Thorn is so cool. Thorn is so cool. Aldweir is weird. Um, oh, but the I'm looking at the stats, and I think that's why I'm going for it. Yeah, let's just look at playstyle. Oh, yeah, just here for the story. Okay. <laughs> Me. Um, I'm worried to be part of that faction, but I think it's the best one. I don't want that to be my aspirational one. Oh, what's this? 
<gasps> you can customize the main character and a few events from previous Game Dragon Age Inquisition. So ah! Customize. <gasps> oh my gosh, past adventures. <laughs> the Inquisition! Murdered Harold Judge Savior. These were some of the titles heaped on the Inquisitor as she led a force that changed nations. Eight years ago, a catastrophic breach in the Fade realm of magic and dreams threatened the world. Yes, it did! Through circumstance or some claim fate, a woman rose to lead an organization known as the Inquisition. Traveling, yes, it was a woman. Many lands, rallying people, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I I'm getting too excited and I can't read. Traveling many lands, rallying people to her cause, the Inquisitor closed the breach and stopped the villain behind it. She was advised throughout by an elven mage named Solus. Ah, yes, she was! The Inquisitor discovered, however, that Solus was in truth an ancient elven god, ben Haral the Dreadwolf. He planned to restore things to their primal state, when the fate and physical reality were one. Solus said he regretted the deaths this would cause, but claimed there was no other way to fix what was, to his eyes, an irredeemably broken world. After that, the dreadful fam vanished, but the Inquisitor swore to find him. Let's make changes. <laughs> yes, she was! <laughs> yes, I'm gonna edit my Inquisitor! She was an elf, a woman. I'm gonna go this one. I think the face shape is more... This is, this is unreal. This is unreal. She did have pink eyes, but this, it's going to be horrifying. Why would I want her to have pink eyes now if they're just going to be horrifying? Is there anything that's like the crown updo here? Like at all? Who, maybe I should give her the ponytail? She doesn't even look like my inquisitor at all. Can I just point that out? She does not look like her. Um, this is really sad. Couldn't they do the classic crown? Now I kind of wish I would have saved this for the Inquisitor. You know? Like, she should have had this hair. Because it's the, like, it has that. Um, anyways. Um, okay, let me actually go for the hair color. Because hers was like a white blonde color. I like her more blonde. But like, her hair was more white. Okay, so this did not go as planned. I'm just going to read this from here. He possessed knowledge beyond any mortal, yet even the Dreadwolf could not foresee what it would mean to fall in love. Oh, this is just, get, it gets me. Though Solus hid his past from the Inquisitor, the more time they spent together, the more precious that time became. Their connection was passionate and undeniable. Solus mourned that his duty to the past forced him to leave her in the end. But the Inquisitor knew what they had might not be so quick to fade. I just had to read that for you guys because it's so freaking cute and I love it. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm like so hyped. Um, but yeah, my PC was not cooperating. So, enjoy my little voiceover, I guess. Basically, my character is finalized. I did everything I needed to do. And she has curly hair now. And, yeah, um, we are in Tevinterm and Rathus, wherever we are. She talked her way out of the situation and Varric likes me. That is where we're at. You didn't get to see it, how hot she looks. But she looks pretty hot and old. But, like, I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> No, I'm not, but we'll pretend I am. I want to load from this temporary chapter save and see what it does. So, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. right here. Oh, right. Ah, it worked! <gasps> yes, him! Our best plan is to stop you the God. dead wolf before he can perform Ugh. his ritual. Yes. After following they the trail, the Inquisition symbol. The known world. I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh. We find this is all really cool, by the way. Rathus. I wonder if Capital that was of the going Tevinter past Imperium. all of Ferelden. But to like find what we saw the in Inquisition. In a city this big, it's gonna be hard. We need a local expert. Yeah, we do. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And the missing contact. That's how all Varric stories begin. Like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Oh, this. <laughs> this looks so good. Let's try this again. She's so pretty. I love her. Where's Nevgalus? 
You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Yeah, actually. <gasps> She's so pretty. Her mouth is so small. <laughs> Her mouth is about the only thing I would fix. I'd make it just a tiny bit bigger. Um, but let's talk this out. It's not a demand, it's an offer. I love her. Telling me what I need to know, it's it's the smart play. It is. The textures. How'd you figure, sweet talker? Why was that flirty? Hello? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away. Her mouth the is point. fine here. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Your choice. You're adorable. Mm -hmm. Her mouth needs to be slightly wider. Do not plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. That offer's good for all of you, too. No? If they won't listen to you, they can always oh, she's listen to fight. She's ready to get the I'm probably breaking my microphone. The friend that Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Yeah. Although for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. Of course I am. She's so hot. Like, <laughs> I love her. I had you on my side. You're Varric. <laughs> Varric likes. What did I have to worry about? Answer. You were there watching my back. Yeah, ah! yeah. He was Come not. On. He was somewhere else. Will be worried. <gasps> the heck? All right, breaks over. See, her mouth's fine there. I don't understand. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it's really small. Oh, Ness is good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever Irish? met. Irish? If she says she's got a lead me. on Solus, I believe her. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Like so, so cool. The Archon's I Palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. See it. Whoa, this is so cool, and she's so hot, and I love this Can game. You be in more of a hurry to get out of here. We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here, nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop but I hate Solus. Slow. I wish you guys could have you seen. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Yeah. Uh, and the Inquisitor would want him to talk him down because that's what she chose to do. She swore to uh, save him. It always offers Wait. me to skip, and I want the button to I go didn't away. I didn't do anything. Get down. Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. Time to get arrested, especially if we. I don't like that. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're too late. The ritual started, but if we hurry, we can still Her stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go. Okay, okay. Uh, let's run. Parting's oh this my way. Gosh. Press. You'll get us to do my father. I'm guessing that's shit. So, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, 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 hello. My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. I'd say so. Oh! No, don't make me. And the whole world is going to look a lot like this. Please, no. No. Oh, hello. F is F is jump. I hate that. Uh, the Venatori bear. Okay. Oh, that. Okay. Oh, I just need to stay back here. For real. Come on. Okay. Come on. 
Come on, let's go. Before my PC runs out of room again. Ooh, fun. I like. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, tab to use your new arcane shot ability. It requires 50 mana to use. Okay, so tab thing? Ooh, what the? This. Kill them all. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Oh. Oh, she's so pretty. I love her. Baby girl, for real. What? I keep saying that. I I take after my friends. I'm just Beric, hiding. She's pretty. Not the worst timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatorian had kidnapped Okay, my elf is short. They <laughs> thought the same thing. A lot of Venator in this city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. She's smaller than a human. This is sad, the score really. This time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. You know, it would make more sense if she's Nev part of the crows, because Rook. Rook could Harding be her name. Harding I found her a like while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece. Yeah. One of the strongest pieces on the board, but she tends to think it's straight lines. Hey. You rescued yourself, I see. Nice job with the Venator nice job with the Venatori. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in the game. <laughs> I do yes! my best. I love that! You said you had a lead. <sighs> oh, this game makes me so hyped. I haven't seen Solus in person. But I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Where the Inquisitor's man is hiding. Go. Before this <laughs> ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. Who told me he was working alone. I also told you he well, was that an is, ancient that elven is true. god. An elven god. Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. Yeah. I'm hyped. We got to rework the Inquisitor, and now I'm confused. And like, hopeful, really, that the Inquisitor is going to show up. Not even going to lie. Oh, if we do catch Solus or the Dread Wolf, whatever he oh. calls himself, what's the plan? <laughs> whatever he calls he wants himself. To bring down the veil. Hopefully that ritual gets his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing Good his show, rituals, actually. What so he can't fight us. That's the hope. Uh, if it comes to oh. a straight up fight, we're dead. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Oh, there it is. Did you see that in Dragon Age 2, though? If it consists of it, like all of them. St I need to stop doing whatever there. the frick I'm doing. That's the building I track Solus to. Looks like the Venatori also this found it. Thing? And then demons found them. Oh, ranged attack. Oh, hello. Man of two. I should have expected it. I've used Dragon Age Inquisition. Enchantment um, on the entrance. I can get it. Little thing that they have anyway. So. Like, this isn't. Like, it's confusing for me, I feel. Okay, let's get in. So this get is out. the Dreadwolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Huh? Not sure how long he's been here. Aww. Some of this looks ancient. Why does this make me sad? Solus Every time has been around longer than Menrathus itself. Oh, why does this make me sad? Like, for real. God, I need to stop saying that. Oh my gosh. But, like, it makes me sad. Which isn't good. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. Yeah. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. Yeah. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Alluvian. Well, that sounds ominous. Okay, come on, guys. Oh. Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? Solus said the other elven gods were evil. They were binding dragons. He was right about that much, at least. Oh, oh, come on! Really? <laughs> Air's full of magic. Solus used a lot of power for something. Hmm. Come on. Solus, the Dreadwolf, Ben Harel, 
He's got a lot of names. Yes. I always called him Chuckles. <laughs> that, add that to the list. His name is actually Solus. That's my take. It's his old name. Penharel means Dreadwolf. That's my take. The Alluvian. This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook? Yeah, it is. I think it's an Alluvian. I've seen a few in all of the forest. They're elven. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone through it. Oh. I'm just... Ugh. Ugh, you know? Like, this hurts my heart after everything with Inquisition. Like, I'm really gonna have to play that and show you guys everything because... It breaks my heart. 100% it breaks my heart. That ending with him and the Inquisitor just like thinking about it makes me want to cry. I don't know if you could tell. Um, but I just feel my eyes watering right now. Well, we're not in Manrathus anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. Of course we do. We always do. I don't know why I keep telling you to skip. I don't want to skip. Oh, I'm so scared. I don't actually want to confront him. I'm sorry. Nothing compares to how many will get if Solus finishes his ritual. Oh, God. I hate you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We have um, to stop this demon quickly. What? I didn't... I didn't notice this when recording, but didn't these have legs in Inquisition? I swear they did. How did the demon this large get through the veil? It's a pride demon. Damn thing probably... Oh. Oh, wait, took it down real fast. Maybe I should set up the difficulty. Everyone all right? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. Okay. She looks old. Like, I don't like the, the... I don't know. There's just something about her. <sighs> Granted, like, she looks 30. But, like, she's not old. But, like... Take it from okay. here. Be careful. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. Support, challenge. You can do it. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him. You can. Yeah, well, the Inquisitor Thanks, actually, Rook. but... Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. Oh! He's like, he's my friend, but if I have to, I'm gonna kill More him. demons! The Inquisitor wouldn't like that, but she would approve. She would be okay Take yeah. care of the team for me. No, Varric, please, this was a bad idea. I take it back! Minimize them. People are dying right now. You need to listen. Oh. Please. He broke me, Yaga. Always dying. That's people are always dying. That's what they do. 
that justifies my thing even more with him. He's doing it for the Inquisitor. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. Uh, that. What if we disrupt the ritual? It justifies the Inquisitor thing. See those statues? Because the Inquisitor's just gonna die on him. The elves lost their mortality. The whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. Uh, what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? <laughs> Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. A Harding. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Harding with me. Let's go, Harding. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. It's like Harding knows Solus, you know? It, she was there. So I. Mm, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, come on. Let's get this done fast, please. Oh, gosh. Uh, at least there's no balancing mechanic, from what I can tell. Honestly, that would have been a great addition, but what do I know? Why is F jumped? It's so freaking stupid. Repeatedly. Okay. Why? Why tear down the veil? Knowing all the lives it'll cost. That's my question. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? Yeah, actually, I do. But it isn't falling. We need to push it. I'm with you. Uh, Together. My girls. No! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. How is that so poetic? It Come does, on. though. Hopefully it won't, but I think it does. Oh, he's gonna have to say goodbye to the Inquisitor, though. That happens. I just feel so bad for the Bellin. Romance Solus and Inquisition, you can romance him in Melgard. <laughs> I would so do it, for real though. Because then I can romance Cullen, and then I can romance Solus, and then I'd be happy. <laughs> uh. Get Beric. I can't believe Solus just did that. Like, screw you. Like she's gonna die. She's literally the main character. She can't die. Uh, Dragon Age: The Valguard. I miss Dreadwolf. Dreadwolf was arguably the better title. I'm not gonna lie, and it rolled off the tongue. They just didn't want people calling it Dad. <laughs> I saw that joke, and I had to bring it up. Oh, so great. You have no idea what you have done. What do you mean? Why is he talking to me? I'm hot. Fall for me. <laughs> the Valguard's hotter. Not really. Love this. But original is. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world. We have similar eyes. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, too! When Yay! <laughs> the 
magical energies pulled me here into the fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic. Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Oh. Secondly, had What's I the that? power to control you, you, you I would already have used it. In the Inquisition. This is a trick. Get out of my head! As I said, out. I do not want to be here any more than you do. But your actions have set a fascination. <laughs> She's and like, I would not have your ignorance on my you? conscience. What are you talking about? The Evanurus. Or as you would call them, the elven gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient oh, he didn't want them to escape. The elves, but but what would have happened if he ripped open the fade anyway? Not just like... to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. Obviously, when I yeah. rebelled, they drew on the horrific okay. magic of the blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am the blight, <laughs> and the blighted elven gods walk. I mean, honestly, free. Karma. Um, why should I believe you? Sure, you're the hero. Sure, you're the hero. Right, you were innocently doing nothing when we came <laughs> along. The prison in which I had trapped them had begun to crumble. I was moving them to another. So you weren't tearing down the veil and drowning the world in demons and wild magic? I had a plan. Varric always said you'd he have works. a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. Aww. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So he's better at things it, that got out. You said they were gods? But I think he does something different. I think he uses they the truth and twists it till it sounds like a lie, but it's still Lighted, the truth. Tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my more power deception to imprison a millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. Okay, now I'm worried. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Sarcasm, really? That's really helpful. What are you? The elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. <laughs> and how could I help them? I do not have my ritual dagger. Oh. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. So he's not the villain? advice from the elven god of, and I am quoting you here, lies, <laughs> treachery, and rebellion. She got him. Depending on the story. <laughs> oh! Elganan and Verbal Jazz are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why is that relevant? Wait, tell me why that's relevant! Ugh. Guys, if it turns out that secretly Bioware has been hiding that if you didn't romance him in Inquisition, you could romance him in Veilguard, I'm gonna die. Because he's in her head now. Like, guys, come on. If you don't see the storyline potential there, like, open open them eyes, because they're obviously closed. Why? Why tear down the veil? Oh, Solus's no there is just so perfect. No idea what you have done. I love Solus. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. I'm in love with Solus Barrett, again. <laughs> you're okay, but I saw Solus stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had At least worse. he's fine. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <laughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime oh, soon, though. Oh, what's this more option? What exactly happened? D stop telling me to skip. It's getting in the way of everything. What happened? I did my best to talk sense <gasps> into Solus. Oh, but no, of course, Barak, you didn't let me listening. down. He never does. No, he doesn't. The plan Not even to the Inquisitor. Wrong. Yeah. Neb got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. <laughs> Before you start worrying... Harding will be fine. She's made of sterner stuff than either one of us. Good. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. <laughs> it's worse than you think, but I need you. I'm sorry, Varric. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. That is true. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen you <laughs> Like the expedition where you lost that invaluable map? 
but saved your friends. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole soulless mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. That is true. Rook? You're awake. Oh, Harding was injured. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I was just looking for Alfred. No, it's it's fine. I was just gonna stretch my legs. I feel bad now. Oh, Rook, watch your step out there. If you put a foot wrong, you'll fall forever. Yeah, on top of everything else, the Alluvian took us to the Fade. A place where dreams come from. So. Wait, so Soul is here? Yeah. yeah. Then I really need to I think Soul is be here. Yeah, you should. And we should talk about things. Maybe find Nev. She's outside, looking around. There's a room with a table down the stairs. I'll meet you there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. Oh, Derek. See you later, kid. <gasps> oh, <laughs> no! Guys, could that have been prevented? Part one, then we're at this job. Technically, the plan worked. But at what cost? Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it there for today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe to have more Dragon Age Belgard content. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed filming it despite it being really, really rough. But, yeah. Bye. I'll see you guys in the next one.